I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast. I am Ashtin Doctor, your Habit Coach. Today's fun fact of the day is that studies have found that fidgeting can actually help you burn up to 350 calories a day. That's crazy. It's almost a 40-minute walk on a treadmill or one plate of save puri or four chocolate chip cookies. Mm, imagine what we could do with 350 extra calories. Your mom clearly had it wrong when she said, sit quietly, stop fidgeting. Even if that number sounds exaggerated, Shake a leg. Interestingly, fidgeting is a natural way the body lowers cortisol by priming and preparing the muscles to kick into action in case of an emergency. Fidgeting helped people score better in a memory test by giving the body something to do and thus improving their focus. And history is filled with fantastic fidgeters. Bill Gates, for example, rocks back and forth in his chair when he's in deep thought. So think about that while you sit at work twirling your pencil in between your fingers. Speaking about work, do you have a desk job? A job that forces you to sit through the day hunched over a computer clicking away? Well, I bet you know that that's not the healthiest thing for you. I'm sure by now you would have heard of people saying, sitting is the new smoking. And when a phrase like that gets thrown around, we have to stop and take notice. So why is sitting so bad? We're familiar with blocks that take place in the heart and cause heart attacks. But did you know there is something called occlusive peripheral heart disease that causes blocks in arteries elsewhere in the body? The most common places for these blocks are exactly the places where we bend our legs at 90 degrees to sit, behind the knee and where our leg and pelvis join. Sitting in chairs forces these arteries to narrow and thus they build up plaque or the hard substance that causes these blocks. It's like adding a bend to a garden hose. The water pressure builds up and moves slower through the pipe. Another issue caused by sitting is called repetitive stress injury. Imagine you've been sitting on the same chair for the last one year. Imagine the number of hours you spent in that exact same position. Now imagine if that chair was slightly broken or bent and tilted left at an angle of just 10 degrees. This means that your body has been out of alignment by 10 degrees for hundreds of hours. The armrests on the same chair are just a few centimeters too high and make you shrug when you place your hands on them. These two simple misalignments that would have gone unnoticed could lead to neck strains, back aches, frozen shoulders and even scoliosis. This happens at home as well. I see this often amongst people who only sit in their favourite spot on a sofa. Remember Sheldon from Big Bang Theory? Very often the sofa cushion loses its shape and tilts to one side more than the other. Now imagine Sheldon hobbling along, holding his back and saying, that's my spot. So your habit to deal with these sitting issues is simple. Have three different working or sitting positions. On a chair at your desk or using a standing desk. This is easy if you have a laptop. Just pile a few books or invert a dustbin and use that as a stand. Sitting on a sofa with a laptop on your lap or on a cushion. Sitting on the floor if you work from home. Sit cross-legged. If you're forced to sit on a chair at a desk, then swap chairs with two friends sitting nearby. Setting these working positions takes a little effort to start up. But once the thinking is done, it's easy to use and keep moving them around. So your cue for this habit is to set a timer on your phone to ring every hour. Switch between sitting positions every time you hear the ring. A habit so small can make a big difference to your health and add a variety of movement to your life. So start these habits and share with us your progress using the hashtag TheHabitCoach. If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am Ashtin Doc on Twitter and Instagram. 
My name is Abbas. I'm a producer at IVM. And I, along with other staff members of IVM, uh, we do this show called IVM Likes, where we give recommendations of books, movies, music, uh, TV shows that we've seen. We've even recommended video games and YouTube channels. And we are soon reaching our 100th episode. We are on episode 99 right now. And on the 100th episode, we'd love to hear from you. So send us your messages, voice notes, goodwill, all of it on shows at indusvox.com and we will read out your messages on the 100th episode of IVM Likes. Tell us about the recommendations we've given you that you've enjoyed. Tell us about the episodes that you remember. Tell us about the conversations that you've enjoyed and we will read all of it out on the 100th episode. Send your messages on shows at indusvox.com and do tune into the 100th episode of IVM Likes out next week. Thank you.